democracynowdemocracynow.org, as we end today with the final highlight of the speech of Tawakul Karman, one of three women who won the Nobel Peace Prize uh, on Saturday, were awarded the Peace Prize in Oslo, Norway. It was presented to two Liberian women, the Liberian president, uh, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, and Liberian activist Lima Bowie. We played excerpts of their speeches, as well as Tawakul Karman's yesterday. But we end today with her last three paragraphs. She's the youngest winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, the mother of three, a journalist and an activist in Yemen. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to share my belief that peace will remain the hope of mankind forever, and that the best hope for a better future for mankind will always drive us to speak noble words and do noble deeds. Together, we will push the horizons, one after another, towards a world of true human perfection. Finally, I ponder myself standing here before you in this moment which every man and woman aspires to reach because of the recognition and appreciation it contains. As I do so, I see the great number of Arab women without whose hard struggles and quest to win their rights in a society dominated by the supremacy of men, I would not be here. This supremacy has caused a lot of injustice to both men and women. To all those women whom history and the severity of ruling systems have made unseen, to all women who made sacrifices for the sake of a healthy society with just relationships between women and men, to all those women who are still stumbling on the path of freedom in countries with no social justice or equal opportunities. To all of them I say, Thank you. This day would not have come true without you. Peace be upon you. 2011 Nobel Peace Prize winner Tawakul Karman in Oslo, Norway, on International Human Rights Day, receiving the Nobel Peace Prize. To see our interview with Tawakul Karman, you can go to our website at democracynow.org.